Hi guys, welcome to my channel Music and Tech. Again, this is Kevin. So today um, we're going to show you how to mix your audio, uh, especially vocals, if you're going to perform live in your sessions, in Zoom sessions, for example, in Twitch or YouTube, Facebook Live. So uh, in the last video, I showed you how to use your OBS Studio to direct your audio from your uh, Ableton to OBS and then into Zoom or whatever platform you're going to use for your live sessions. So uh, in the last video I showed you that um, if you created a scene you will have this uh, default audio output and then I created one audio output which would have my black hole 2 channel but uh, the problem is uh, if you could hear it's like there's do dual output of your audio because this one is a default I need to remove this okay and then in your audio output so now this is the black hole audio output to channels um, I need to bring this down from uh, from the max volume down to zero or you can just um, click this so that there is no input output because if you would increase this you will see the change there's mic see there's there's, there's two, two inputs, inputs coming in and then there's two outputs so my input is coming from my Ableton if you would see here I have my input here so I don't need an input in my OBS studio so I have to mute this and then we have only audio coming from my Ableton so in order to um, uh, mix your audio uh, my practice is that I would always have this following audio effects in Ableton so currently wait hold on so currently they are disabled you will see and then i will bring in this different audio effects so again the audio effects you can find it here okay so the first thing that i'm going to bring is my um, utility so utility is here so if i bring it down So this is the default uh, settings for your utility. In order to increase the output, I would change this to 10 and then the rest I will not touch. So I do I have shown you this, so I don't need this anymore. And then um, I need the compressor. So let's go and find where is that compressor here. So if I bring it down, okay so now I have two compressors so what I usually do this is the default setting this is the other uh, setting that I did so if you would see I have brought this down the threshold to somewhere around 40% and then the out up to around 50% so what does compressor do compressor is bringing the bringing down those uh, volumes that are too loud or if you have a soft uh, audio or it's too low it's going to bring it up so that you will have the needed um, volume that you would want and then if you bring away your phone uh, microphone it still sounds the same so now my vo my microphone is like eight inches away from me but you can hear that the volume doesn't change much okay so the rest I will not touch then this would be the compressor then we can delete this then spectrum I would bring it also so what does spectrum does um, 
So if you would see here, wait, hold on. Yeah, I have increased the block to 16,384. Still channels at left and right. Refresh at 60 milliseconds, average one. So I just changed this thing. So somehow it makes the, uh, the audio nicer. So now you can hear the difference. Test mic, test mic, test mic, test mic. Test mic. Test mic. Test mic. Test mic. Test mic. So, uh, mixing your audio again. A disclaimer that um, when you mix your audio, it's a bit of a preference. There is no hard rule on it. You can change the um, settings as and when you like. But again it's something that uh, of your preference it's something that we cannot dictate so it's up to you what you want to do with your audio so again spectrum I look it up in the internet what does spectrum do so the spectrum includes two radical spectral processing devices capable of a range of effects it warps and mangles your audio into mayhem or adds subtle harmonic touches so it's up to you what do you want with your audio? In the studio and at the gig, Spectrum FX adds an instant dynamic catalyst to your live set. Okay. And then, um, so I have shown you this. And then I would usually add a vocoder. So it's something that you can use for both vocals and instrument. So did you see the difference? Test mic, test mic. Test mic, test mic. So it adds some kind of um, change to your um, audio. So what I, what it does is that um, it's, it's a versatile effect that mod modulates incoming signals in creative ways. It can shift frequency formats, generate harmonic distortion, apply synthesized melodies and harmonies to vocals, and much more. So. Um, there's a quite uh, pronounced effect if you use a vocoder and if you, do, you don't use it. So you would see that there's quite a difference. It's like this or this way or whatever your preference is. But for me, I will put it here. And then um, I would put some formants there at 4.2. I would not touch the attack and dry wet around 5% only. So let's see the difference of the default setting and the test mic, test mic. So if I use my own setting. Test mic, test mic, so it's nicer. And then, um, yeah, if I increase the, uh, the, the dryness or reduce the wetness, you can see the difference. For example, I changed this to 50. Let's try that. Test mic, test mic, test mic. So you don't feel or you don't hear much of the effect. So I would just undo that. Yes, test mic, test mic. So it's nicer. Yeah. And then, of course, you want to have some kind of reverb. So this is the setting that I would usually do. I would let me get a reverb. Let me maximize the video the view. Then reverb of course so that you would have some reverbing effect or effect on your audio. So this is the this is the uh, default setting, so usually it's on low and high cut. Wait, hold on, let me check. No, uh, only high cut is there, so I would cut the lows also. That's why I enabled that. And then you would see that the reverb, its default is at 55. And then 
I reduce it to 10 and you can increase this depending on what you're going to do if you're going to sing or if you're just going to talk then the shape I would lower it to 0.4 pre-delay at 0.5 so if you have more pre-delay then it would um, you would have more delays on your reverb so let's try to increase it to 10 for example test mic test mic test mic did you hear the echo so let me bring it down back and then um, if you would increase our the wetness of this one then you would hear more reverb for example I increase it to 55 test mic test mic test mic test mic yeah but I'm now I'm just talking so I'll just bring it down to 10 and then what else did I change I changed from econom et economy to high quality then the size I increase the size to 250 stereo to 50.48 and then I reduce the decay time if you increase the decay time to 1 oops sorry let me try 1000 test mic test mic test mic or 2000 test mic test mic test mic yeah so that's how it changes yeah that's my original setting and what else um, I didn't touch this I just kept it at 40 percent okay now um, delay usually I use delay so that so you will have more echoey, echoey sound. sound then I just I reduce it to 21 percent let me drag the original set or default, or default setting, setting for the delay yeah yeah so now so now Okay, okay, okay. So you can hear the difference. Test mic, 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 test test mic test mic so then I would bring this down usually I can I would enable this so that if I drag this one and here where's the uh, the noise is coming from let me show you this thing test mic test mic test mic test mic test Test mic, test mic. Yeah, yeah, so usually yeah, I will just yeah, bring it here and then, and then uh, this effect is coming, coming from, from the packs, packs the Ableton packs that you would get from the Ableton, Ableton website. website. It's, it's what, what we call as convolution, convolution reverb. reverb. It's, it's not part, part of the in-house audio, audio effects, effects but, but it's a pack that you can download, download for free, free in Ableton. Ableton. Yeah. yeah, so, so usually I would select, select hall. hall. So, so you would hear, I would just select, select which hall I would I like to use. use. Yeah. yeah. So, so for, for this, this one, one, I, I use, use um, hall, hall medium, medium, which is, is here. here. So, so medium size, size of a hall. hall. So if you want the larger one, one, then you can select this. So if I enable this, it's like I'm singing in a medium size hall. Then if I increase it to 50%, test mic, test mic, test mic, excuse me, and then bring it back down to 10%. So if I'm going to, so now I'm mixing my audio into something that I would, uh, if I'm speaking, but if I'm going to sing, then I would change my setting to 
uh, to be suitable for a singing voice. So for example, uh, what I would do is I would increase the reverb. Let me go back to my reverb for up to 45%. Test mic, test mic. And then perhaps this one I increase to 25%. Test mic, test mic, hello. Yeah, so now this would be my, for my singing. And then perhaps um, if you want to add some more of your um, audio effects, then you are free to do that. So again, it's by preference, whatever you want to use for your singing or speaking voice. So this is uh, the voice that you can hear with all of these these um, audio effects. So if I disable all, that's my that's my. So this is my natural voice, and this is the voice that would be um, that will be resulting from the audio effects that I've added in my uh, audio effects channel. So again, thank you so much. Uh, if you learned something today, uh, please help my channel to click like. And then if you would like to see my other videos or my future videos that I'm going to post in YouTube, um, then you can click subscribe. Again, there's, an, there's a video uh, that I have already created how to mix your audio using an audio mixer. You can find this in the link below. Again, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.